Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I wanna show you a quick way of um, having particles go where you want them to go. So let's drop down a test geometry. And say for example, we've got our friend right here. We don't want him to be animated, so and we don't need a shader and I guess we can just do a rest pose uh, and then what we want to do is just for the sake of you know just for fun and demonstration I'm gonna grab this thing here the the hammer so hammer hit T and then basically we're gonna have Par we're gonna turn him into particles or maybe we turn this into particles and we have this come over to our friend so let's delete it duplicate the delete with alt selected delete non selected to isolate it and then we're gonna do a scatter And first we need to convert and there we go now what we need to do is we have a friend right here we're gonna drop down a add and on the add we're gonna add a point so if we middle click here you will notice we have a point and the point is basically right there so this point right here is gonna drive where the particles are gonna are gonna go so let's drop down and now let's name this out and attractor and on the hammer here we'll do a pop net and we can tell it do all points and attract so pop, pop attract and we want the, the force actually the goal to be driven by a point and this point we're gonna select the out attractor so let's have a look at what this is gonna do so right now all of our particles are going directly to the point right um well, we probably only want the particles to live for a certain amount of time and to be emitted maybe just on the first frame so let's do dollar f less than one i always get this wrong let me see if this works. There we go. Um, and then we're going to need them to live longer. have a look at what we have so we could do things like for example if it reaches this goal then they die or or whatever we can do something like that and or we can do also like after this simulation let's duplicate the pop net and I'll get rid of the pop attract and a lot of pop force instead ok 
give it a little bit of amplitude and let's give it more life and let's allow it to emit particles anytime So, so now you're gonna get some really cool trailing stuff um, and you know turn any geometry in whatever you want and, and show it where it needs to go and you can see it's very easily directable based on the attractor that we've added here alright guys I, I hope you like this tip and I'll be back with more